now see a elastic potential energy in a stretched wire what uh, how this energy is stored now see here suppose this is a wire of length l when you apply some force internal forces between the particles or between the atoms of this wire opposes this external force so some work is done and this work done appears in the form of potential energy so this type of energy is known as elastic potential energy now see here initially when the force is applied here there is uh, no increase in the length as you increase the force there is increase in the length when the force is f increase in the length is here the delta l so average force is equal to that is the average internal force average internal force is equal to 0 plus f by 2 that is f upon 2 then work done on the wire is equal to f by 2 into this is increase in the length now we can write here 1 by 2 into we can divide by a that is area of cross section of the wire and we can also divide by l and here into a l so we have divided by a and multiplied by a we have also divided by capital l and multiplied by capital l so this can be written half into a stress into a strain into volume of the wire volume of wire so this is the formula for the energy stored in the wire that is represented by u here now we can get energy density also so energy density is equal to total energy stored divided by volume of the wire so energy density can be written energy density is equal to half into stress into strain so this is the formula for the energy density